If you're watching this video at launch, we're live right now on twitch.tv, jumping into Helldivers, ready for that new major order. Link in the description and the pinned top comment. Check it out. I'll see you over there. Okay, then Helldivers, loads to go through today as we've just completed the latest major order for the DSS construction site, and we've got a lot to take a look at, including the Golden Joystick Awards, and we have got a load of content ideas coming from you guys, which definitely carry a lot of weight. With that being said, though, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated check out our sponsor gamer subs the zero calorie energy and nootropic formula designed to be a healthier and more effective beverage for gamers the blend is essential vitamins organic caffeine and nootropics to provide a consistent boost with no jitters no crash and no glucose response it's an absolute no-brainer head down to the link in the description and use code cloudplays at checkout let me know what you got it'd be absolutely amazing but with that being said let's see what's happening inside of the game so Starting off, heading over towards the Galactic War map. It is going to be an interesting forefront as we've got a new incoming message from Super Earth. Chlorel has been liberated from the circuit-operated grip of the Automaton Legion. An extensive network of tunnels penetrating in the depths of the planet have been flushed of all bot presence and filled with Super Earth eager to construct that deep mantle forge complex. Aided by the intense heat and pressure generated by Chlorel's core, brave metallurgists are at the forge complex, will craft a brand new alloy and the properties of which will enable the DSS to safely withstand FTL jumps. Be advised that troubling intel was discovered within Chlorel and the automatons were crafting a new alloy of their own. An exceptionally light metal seemingly for armor plating investigations into the enemy's plans for this material are ongoing. Now this is absolutely huge because this will lead towards the automatons having that really really shiny metal that we've seen been pushing out over the internet bloody globally. This thing is going to be absolutely mental and hopefully they don't manage to actually get their hands on it but nonetheless it's going to be something that we need to keep an eye out as of right now we do not have a movement inside of the major order and we've got to wait for the next step for the dss construction but somebody put something up on reddit which i actually think should be something to happen inside of the game when we take a look at the galactic war table and we've now got this narrative that they put up a narrator would be absolutely amazing and make it so immersive when it it comes to the actual game content having a cool ace combat escape narrator would be absolutely amazing and i think it's something that arrowhead should definitely look into let me know what your opinions are via the comment section below but hopefully we can get a new major order come up very soon and we can start diving yet again next up though just a quick reminder that arrowhead game studios have been nominated for the golden joystick awards in four nominations including console game of the year best multiplayer game best game trailer for the fight for freedom begins and the studio of the year you can now vote and the voting is now live so i'll leave the link down in the description for you guys to go and support your fellow democracy officers and show them exactly what they've done for all of mankind. But moving in to Reddit, you guys have been absolutely hammering it just recently with some incredible ideas happening inside of the game. But something that is already in the game that you may not have known, and the griefers are going to be gutted, but people have just learned that the kick griefing does not work anymore. He goes through a story of a specific operation that he actually utilized, and it states right at the end, to my surprise, everyone disappears after being kicked, and I just get to pick up their samples and leave. Guess it, Shint Heels will have to find some other way to grief. GG Arrowhead didn't even know it was a thing. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people that did not know this was already a thing, but it's been a thing now for a little while. But I absolutely love the fact uh, that they've actually supported the movement for being kicked. So you guys are going to have to obviously find a different way of griefing now. Does not seem to be a very good move for you. <laughs> but something else which is quite interesting and very cool and is pretty damn small and insignificant for the most part. But I really enjoyed this post. It says, I found this strange journal dropped by an automaton while liberating Chlorel. Think I should take a peek inside? And what is it actually? Because I think this is a really, really cool little piece. But somebody actually commented on it saying, the bot's own hand only has three fingers and the book has has four. It's a reference to Gravity Falls' own book, a journal of a man who had six fingers, specifically Journal 3. This is absolutely incredible, and I love these little Easter eggs and things that happen inside of the game. And if you
you want to learn some more about that, the link is down in the description for you guys to go and check that out. But what would be a cool new addition to the game? Well, ignore the coloration of it, but the overall consensus of this right here actually tickled my pickle. And I think that it would be pretty damn cool to see inside of the game. And apparently, 8.4 thousand of you do as well. This states right here, an automaton bile titan. The automatons use the corpse of the bile titan as a model for a new machine. It's still in its in it's still in its infancy, only copying the basis of the bile titan. Once they attach weapons to it, it'll become an unstoppable force. This is an automaton cyborg, crimson speaking. I hope this information serves you well, Hell Divers. More blueprints will be sent in the incoming days. May your democracy live on. Now I. Think think this would be absolutely incredible and I think that actually having a hybrid between the two would be even bloody better. Having a movement for a specific army which is sort of like terminids that have gone automaton would be absolutely hilarious and having that would be so damn fun to go up against. Just a bit of a refreshing change especially as the Illuminate are not going to be making their way through anytime soon. Again not likely to happen but just a concept that I thought would be pretty damn cool. And I've got a question for you guys, as we have done just recently for most videos. And this one is, what's better, the Stim Pistol or the Grenade Pistol? Now, obviously, we're not going to take into effect that the Stim Pistol does not obviously have any addictive tendencies. So we can't use that one as the main narrative. But which one do you guys prefer? For me, for the most part, it is the Grenade Pistol most of the time. It seems to be a lot more effective. And I think that you can actually achieve a lot more with it. If you guys are utilizing your stims correctly, this stim pistol actually has no usage. And that's just my opinion. But what do you guys enjoy using the most? Let me know via the comment section below. And moving into your top comments, this one is a very, very good one because I actually really enjoyed this. But the first one right here states, for Liberty Day, I'm going to pay off my car and scream for democracy the whole time. For democracy! And hopefully you liked that little reenactment of what that would look like. But nonetheless, moving in to the next comment, it states, I'm expecting nothing on Liberty Day. That way, no matter what happens, I'll be delighted. If you have no expectations, you can never be disappointed. And oddly, he actually has a very, very good point. We obviously spoke about the Liberty Day overhype of what's happening at the moment. And people are bringing up some ridiculous ideas that are likely to never happen at all, let alone happen just this month. Liberty Day is going to be a really interesting movement and how it is they're going to play it we'll have to wait and see but keeping your expectations quite low will mean that no matter what they do you're going to be happy and during this very video we took a look at a concept idea for a brand new war bond which was an actually a really really interesting one but somebody put up an even more interesting concept in the comment section that apparently a lot of you guys agreed with a plasma war bond with plasma nades plasma pistol and a plasma orbital or cannon support stratagem would be very cool i think there are a lot of ways that they can take this game when it comes to the way that war bonds operate and how it is that they use it inside of the game what it is that the next one's going to be we'll have to wait and see but apparently liberty day is looking at bringing in some new stuff will it be in the form of war bond or just in the form of dlc we'll have to wait and see but let me know your opinions via the comment section below thank you so much again for watching guys if you haven't already make sure you hit that like button subscribe post notifications turned on and come and check out the twitch stream we are spreading some managed democracy and hoping to see a major order come up very soon. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds.